Hello, it's a great pleasure to present our latest work, Actuary Optimization and Robust Control of Pediatric Knee Exoskeleton for Children with Mobility Impairments in Community Settings. Cerebral palsy, or CP, is reported as having the highest global rehabilitation burden among all chronic health conditions. CP has a fairly high prevalence while starting early in life along with its functional severity. Approximately 50% of ambulatory children with CP lose the ability to walk independently by mid-adulthood, leading to adverse health scores. Crouch gait exhibited by children with CP is characterized by excessive flexion of the lower limb joints. This leads to a reduction in walking speed, range of motion, and step length, consequently increasing the energy costs of walking and leading to joint degradation over time. Thus, knee exoskeletons that addresses excessive joint flexion to incite upright posture are imperative to alleviate the ramifications due to crouch gait. Some attempts have been made to address crouch gait. However, they are heavy with low compliance and their controller lack robustness, stability, and enforces steady state walking that hinders the exoskeleton's efficacy and its transition from the lab setting to the community setting. Pediatric exoskeletons should provide sufficient torque during the daily activities while being lightweight and compliant. State-of-the-art pediatric exoskeletons optimizes the wearable and transmission structure to address it to accommodate for a child's growth. However, optimizing actuators to accommodate for a child's growth is often neglected. To accommodate for a child's growth, we proposed an actuator optimization framework to facilitate a lightweight and compliant knee exoskeleton without compromising on the excessive torque generation capabilities. Furthermore, to overcome the steady state walking constraint and allow for robust and stable control of pediatric exoskeletons in a community setting, we propose a deep learning based gate phased estimation method. We propose an actuator optimization framework to identify the optimal design parameters for both motor and transmission, while minimizing the actuator mass and satisfying the output torque, speed, bandwidth, and compliance requirements. The optimal motor air gap radius monotonically increases with weight from 0.011 meters to 0.071 meters and the optimal gear ratio varies from 5.9 to 10.8 for weights ranging from 10 kilograms to 30 kilograms, and 10.8 to 4.3 for weights ranging from 30 kilograms to 100 kilograms, leading to actuators with a minimal mass. Guided by the optimization results, we customized an actuator that results in the most lightweight pediatric knee exoskeleton. Furthermore, to facilitate a robust and stable control for community use, we proposed an long short-term memory deep learning based gate phase estimation method. The proposed method accurately estimates gate phase and the presence of abrupt changes in gate speed without being explicitly trained on such data. Next is the demo of pediatric testing. As shown in the videos, we tested our exoskeleton and control in children with in children on a treadmill and overground. This slide shows the results of our robot benchtop test. Our optimized exoskeleton shows a high bandwidth, high compliance, and accurate velocity tracking. And our optimized actuator satisfies the four constraints as well. The model accurately estimates the estimated the gate phase on irregular walking, 
walking patterns with a 94.5% accuracy without explicitly trained on and typically developing children. Furthermore, the controller results demonstrates an elevated ability in adapting to severely irregular gait patterns of the child with cerebral palsy. Human subject experiments aim to evaluate kinematic and kinetic impacts of the exoskeleton during walking. In the last figure, it's demonstrated the high accuracy of torque tracking under different walking speeds. In the right figure, the kinematic results in terms of knee angles shows little no joint angle change. This proves that the exoskeleton's mass had little effect on knee kinematics and shows that our controller is very synergistic to human motion. Lastly, the low mass of the exoskeleton leads to negligible effects on the user's kinetics since the ground force reaction during baseline and power walking has a 99.7% similarity.